What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some camera tests of the Ari Alexa Mini. We're gonna start off with looking at the high ISO performance test, going from 160 all the way up to 3200 ISO, and then we're gonna be doing an exposure recovery, so over and under exposing the camera five stops, and then bringing it back in post-production. If you wanna learn more about our camera setup and camera settings, that will be in the description below, as well as some time codes so you can jump ahead to the specific tests if you don't wanna watch the whole thing. So let's start right off with the high ISO performance test. So here we are with 160 ISO, and we're going from a log to a graded 709 just using the basic Amir LUT in Premiere. You'll also notice in the top right corner we have a 300% zoom in, so you can see a little better what's going on. Here we are at 400 ISO, and we're still getting a really clean image. Next up, we're gonna double that and go to 800 ISO, and this is the native ISO for the Alexa Mini, and again, we're getting a really clean image. Going up to 1600, we're starting to see a little bit more noise in there, but it's very organic feeling, and it doesn't have that digital look to it. Then lastly, 3200 ISO. This is starting to be a little bit unusable, but again, we're not getting too much color noise. It's a very organic feel. So that was the high ISO performance test. There isn't a huge range on this camera, but let me know in the description below how high you would push this ISO. I'm always interested to see what people shoot with. Next up, let's take a look at the exposure recovery. So over and under exposing it about five stops. So starting off, here's our correct exposure. We're at F8 ISO 800. On the left side, you'll see the actual shot, which is one stop underexposed. In the center, we have our correct exposure. And on the right is the recovered one stop under image. And here we are at F16, two stops underexposed now, and we are able to bring that back, but we are starting to get a little bit of noise in that shadow area, which you'd probably be able to get rid of with some sort of noise reduction. Going down to three stops, we're now at an F11 with 0.6 NDs. This is getting a little bit too noisy to be able to recover in post, and I probably wouldn't try to recover it past this point. Here we are, four stops underexposed, and again, you can see incredibly noisy in the recovered shot. This is pretty much unusable. And then lastly, we're gonna look at five stops underexposed. Again, we're losing a lot of the contrast and the color, and it's really, really noisy. So back to our correct exposure, F8 ISO 800, and now we're gonna go in the other direction, overexposing the image and then bringing it back down. So again, on the left, you have our one stop over, on the right, you see the recovered shot, and this looks really, really solid, and actually almost a little bit cleaner than our correct exposure. Here we are, two stops overexposed. Again, we're able to recover all of that information. The key points to look at in here is in the highlight area, so like the mug up on the shelf, and in the painter's wheel on the right side. Here we are all the way up to four stops overexposed, and you're able to get all of that information back, which is absolutely incredible. And then we're going to five stops. We're still able to get almost all of this back in our skin tones, but we do lose it in some of those brighter areas, like in the mug and in the paint wheel on the right side. Hope you guys enjoyed these two tests of the Ari Alexa Mini. If you want to try this camera out for yourself, head on over to lensprotego.com or lensrentals.com, which will be linked to in the description below. If you guys want to see more tests just like this one with other cameras, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.